What is going on YouTube? Another video coming at you from the Washington Football Report. This is JD. Let's dive right into this. So, yesterday the NFL had, had uh, announced a new rule. I guess the rule was actually in place last year, but because we have um, the extra game this year that they don't have the space for rescheduled games anymore, um, the NFL released a rule. I, I'll try to give you the Rangers Digest version. Basically, um, no games are allowed to be rescheduled except on a bye week. Um, they're not going to postpone games because people teams get outbreaks if your team has an outbreak you get a loss and you got to financially compensate the other team for, for uh, the nfl for losses so if they lose out on ticket revenue um commercial revenue uh, advertising revenue whatever you're the team that has to compensate so if washington plays the ravens and like last year ravens had like a whole bunch of outbreaks and they had their games moved around the ravens will get an l they'll forfeit the game there won't be a reschedule. Washington gets the W, and then the Ravens have to compensate the league, the Redskins, or, or Washington, whoever, for loss of income. Yeah. So that's part of the rule. So that's that's one thing. That's on a, a macro scale. On a micro scale, on a day to day, uh, they made the rule that if you are vaccinated and you, um, even if you're vaccinated, and you have your carrier, you test positive for COVID, you have to have. Um, two negative tests within 24 hours of each other before you're allowed to play so that's actually not bad you can get you can play a game on on sunday have covid on monday or have it in your system be clear to I mean get two negative tests tuesday and wednesday and you're back on the field on thursday and you're able to play so that's that's a good thing if you're vaccinated if you're not vaccinated you have to wait 10 days before you're allowed to play again or you're you get tested uh, you have to wait 10 days where you're testing you have to get a negative tests uh before you can play again um so um, that that's really big for teams that don't have that have um, don't have players that are vaccinated now. Uh, and on the last part of this is if you're a team that is responsible for losing the game, you, you players don't get paid. So if I'm on the Washington and I'm vaccinated and one player's not, and that one player causes us to not have a game, then everyone's not getting paid on the team. So someone can cost me money. Okay. Now, I'm going to be bluntly honest. I'm a person who is not for the vaccination. I don't think the vaccination is a great idea. There are vaccinations we have that we've had for years that have been tested, and we understand the long-term ramifications of those vaccinations. Um, this vaccination was rushed to get out um, to people. Um, there are people that still catch it with the vaccination. Um, so how effective is it? I mean, I understand the, the the science behind it. You can catch it and not get sick, but catch it and still be a carrier. That's with anything. I get that. But I'm just saying, we don't know what the vaccination actually has long-term ramifications. For all we know, like for example, my wife got a vaccination. Um, she could have been vaccinated and from this moment on, she's no longer able to have children. You just don't know that. We don't know the long-term ramifications of a rushed drug that we're all gonna be dependent on. So that, that's my personal opinion. That's why I believe in like yeah, like healing. Like I had pneumonia. I did take a little bit of that, but I didn't like go to the hospital and ha I didn't, ha I still work through my pneumonia, things like that. I believe that, I believe the human body can endure a lot. And I believe the human body can, can, can fight through just about anything. And I've known people that have caught COVID that basically to them, it's been like the extreme flu and I'm not going to get into what COVID is or is not, but I'm just saying that uh, I think your body, um, I just think it's too early to just say, hey, everyone has to be vaccinated, come come hell or high water, and you're being forced to do it. And I think there's not enough science behind it to, to show any uh, the ramifications of of uh, the vaccination. That's just my personal opinion. You don't have to have that opinion. If you have a different opinion, and you say, oh, they say it's safe, take it. Well, I don't trust the government. I don't trust, I don't trust a, a lot of, uh, I don't trust the government, period, no matter who's in charge. Um, I, I like minimal government. That's the way I believe. Um, not trying to get political, but that, that is the thing that's about this vaccination. You're just telling people that they have to have, and they're forced to have it. But there are players out there who believe the same thing. They don't either. They, a, they just don't want to like put that, put the vaccine in their body for, because they're right not to. And you also have people out there that, uh, you know, say you can, no matter what, put them here, take the, um, take the vaccination i was just listening to i was just listening to the washington football talk podcast with jp finley uh mitch titzler and uh 
Pete Haley. And one guy on there, JP Finley, he's like, you know what? I took it because I want to go. I didn't want to wear a mask anymore. I didn't want to do this, this, and this. I'm like, that's fine. That's that's your prerogative. But like I said, there's not to me. There's not enough science behind the vaccination to know that in five years from now, we're all we're not all going to have cancer or something like that. So let's keep keep that in mind. Okay, that 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 that's just what I believe. And there's not enough science. In, in ten years from now, we can look back at this video, and I may be an idiot. Like, hey, you should have taken the vaccination, JD. You know, there was nothing wrong with it. And in five years from now, I could look like a genius. Like, oh man, if we'd have been a little more precautious. We don't we don't really know. So I'm not getting into that argument of it. I'm just going over what. How, the, how I look at the vaccination and how NFL players are going to. I mean, you have DeAndre Hawkins with the Arizona Cardinals playing retiring because he feels he's being forced to do it. And everyone always, it's just, it's just BS where this, and, and this is get political for two seconds. There's things that they're not required. Like we're not forcing you, but you won't get this unless you do it. Like for example, like you're, you're, we're not requiring you to get a vaccination, but if you get, pa you don't pass the test, you're not getting paid. That, that's like, that's like a, my, my job. Is like, like if I don't want to do a piss test or something like that, they're like, well, you're not required to do it, but if you don't take the P test, you're not going to get paid. Okay, so you are requiring it to pay me. That's a requirement to pay me. It, it's, it's, it's verbiage that's just, you just force people to do it. It's the best way to put it. Um, the best political way I could put it is in the 90s, during No Child Left Behind, they made all these programs that one specific party made all these education programs that they tried to implement to, uh, to, to try their little ideas for education. And basically, there were schools that rejected it. And then it's like either you, and they're like, okay, you don't have to get it, but you won't get funding for extra stuff if you don't. And that's how it happened. And then. I'm not getting into all the politics, but it had a, a negative ramification. That's all I'm going to say, and that's uh, just history on that. So I'm just swiping through here. That way it doesn't lock up. So not any more, any more politics. I promise I'm not going to. I just want to go over that aspect of that. Now, Washington has the lowest uh, vaccination percentage of any team. It, right now, it's, uh, J.P. Finley updated it yesterday. It's around 60%. So that means of the 90 players we have now, Roughly about 55, 54, 55, I think that's about 60% um, are vaccinated. And the other group are not. And some of them are our better players. I know Montez Sweat is adamantly against the vaccination. Um, there might be other players that I'm not aware of. Um, but there are players that are adamantly against it. And they feel like they're being forced. So that could be that could be problematic or troublesome. Because not only do you have the uh, a dynamic of missing games and getting losses, which is... You know, something that I, I don't want, I definitely don't want that as a Washington fan. You have the dynamic that if, if Montez, let's say Montez Sweat does not want to get the vaccination, he gets COVID and they lose a game because he's not playing or the hell they lose a game because they can't field a team because him and like three other teammates all have COVID and then they have to cancel the game and get the out and no one gets paid. It really creates some very uh, interesting locker room dynamics. Um, not interesting in a good way, interesting in a in the worst way possible is the best way I can put that. So that that's uh, that's something you got to keep uh, keep our minds on going forward, uh, keep an eye on going forward. I think Ron is going to be the leader that he is and convince uh, convince everyone that they should uh, get it done. That way, you're not um, handling uh, or messing over your teammates now. I guess the only one to have available in Virginia is the two two part uh, vaccination. Uh, my wife got the one part from Johnson and Johnson. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe they just don't have that available anymore. But maybe it's maybe it's a two part. I don't know. Uh, if it was me, I'd do the one time Johnson Johnson one and call it a day. But that's just me. But um, that's really the main topic I want to talk about today. I, I did want to talk about another topic, but it's been about nine minutes, and I don't know if I want to blend these two topics. I think there's too good to be talking about like together i think there's the next one's a good topic that i'll talk about separately um from this video but um i just want to update everyone on what's going on with that i mean that could huge ramification might not have any ramifications okay um but uh that is uh, that is my video i want to thank everyone for watching um please hit the subscribe button uh in the notification bell i had the 100 or 515 followers never thought i'd ever get to that but I want to keep pushing. Uh, so if you could hit the notification bell, share this video so other people can uh, 
watched it as well. I want to get to a thousand so I can do live streams with like uh, live chats and things like that. Um, that's my that's my ultimate goal. Um, maybe by the end of the season I'll get to maybe before season I will. I don't know. Maybe I'll get a, a boom in followers. But uh, this is my video. Thank you for following. All right, thank you for watching. Hit that notification bell. Share it. Uh, like button. Comment down below. What's your thoughts on all this? Do you think it's right? I, I really would. would I have a weird question, I and mean, obviously it has to have gone through, I guess, but the NFL Player Association, they signed off on this? I'm really curious about if they signed off on this or not, because there's no way the NFL Player Association is going to agree to rules that prevent players from getting paid. If that's the case, there's, uh, there's some bad player, or uh, there's some bad representatives in the Player Association, that's all I'm going to say. I'm really curious if that comes out next, I'd love to hear from the Player Association on this. <laughs> what? That's my video. Hail to the Redskins. See ya.